Most architects design new buildings. I work to preserve old ones. I am an outlier. My parents used to bring me on excursions to far-flung places of the island. So I remember there was once we went to this old kampong in Sembawang and there were kids jumping and playing at the jetty. There was this old black and white building and to me it was something really grand and wonderful because it's very different from where I grew up in. The building I learned later on when I joined the conservation department is Conserve. Um, it's the Bulu house at the end of Sembawang Road. All those really created very good memories and as I grew older, I also began to appreciate also um, the unique character and ambience of old buildings. One of the things that really interests me about the work is um, this sense of discovery that you get when you see a new building for the first time. You really feel like an explorer that has just stumbled upon a new civilization. So I learned that um, when you come to these places, frequently they are mosquito infested and there's lots of long grass. You should wear covered shoes, long pants, sunblock and insect repellent. When we first saw it, um, it was in quite a dilapidated condition. So the roof had no tiles, it was basically a metal roof and the windows were all shuttered but falling off. There was a horse carriage porch at the front of the building. So this is almost entirely made of timber. Um, when we saw it, the condition was quite bad, there were a lot of termites. And the carriage porch itself was tilting to one side. I remember working on this project and the project next door. Um, a two-storey bungalow as well and opening a door and having a flock of bats fly out <laughs> we're like oh that looks like Batman's house <laughs> yeah it was really the first time that we had uh, experienced such a thing I guess it's actually very different from a normal black and white house it has uh, what you call Moorish ornamentation which is uh, Islamic inspired design so you see this in very, very few bungalows in Singapore. And it was designed by the same architect who did Raffles Hotel and the Goodwood Park Hotel. So we'll take uh, photos of the interior, the exterior, and we'll mark out the features that have to be retained. We work with the architect to make sure that the conservation um, restoration works actually follow the basic principles which are to retain as much of the original fabric as possible and then to repair what you can and that for old buildings there are not always records of it unlike for newer ones. So a lot of time is spent um, for example in the National Archives sifting through drawings trying to find out who was the original architect, what date it was built, and from there we can guess what kind of style it was. And a lot of it is detective work. For people working in the government sector, I think the biggest challenge is the balance between conservation and development. Because um, although I do love old buildings very much, but in the end, it also has to be uh, quite a pragmatic consideration. So in order to do that, um, we try to think of innovative ways to keep old buildings while at the same time um, allowing for newer things to come up. So for places like Chinatown or Kampong Glam, where it's a very old and significant area, um, we ask architects to keep the entire building envelope 
but for newer areas like Joo Chat and Geylang where the character is a bit more mixed, um, we do allow old and new developments to intersperse. Right now, we are working with community um, to see whether we can build up some kind of event calendar programming for the area. Actually, there are a lot of things going on. The issue is that there's no one body there to collate and to coordinate all the actions. She's a great facilitator, you know, and great facilitators are invisible, unfortunately. She's the person behind the scenes, I guess, running around and making sure that everyone is communicating with each other. Messages get passed around a lot and uh, somebody has to be on top of it and she does the job really well. My family actually finds my job very interesting because uh, I get to visit a lot of new out-of-the-way places. So sometimes I will drive the car out as well with my parents and they'll always be very interested to see what new place I'll bring them to next. Do you really get a sense that you're preserving part of Singapore's history um, at the end of the day, when you look back and you can actually see that these things are still there because someone put the effort in to retain them and to try and bring out the best in them that they can. And also, um, when you work with community, just hearing their stories and allowing them to express what they really want about the area, I think that is very fulfilling as well because there's really that human connection that you see there. Perform in concert halls and on stage. We do more than that. We perform on the streets and in the trains. We. we